I could have played that for a few more minutes. Hey, Steve Levy, publisher of USC24x7.com. Lost my voice yelling at the TV all Saturday. Uh, had to watch it on, uh, what's that called? Sling. Sling.com. Anyways, thank you, Pac-12 Network or Pac-2 Network, whatever you are, for forcing all of us to have to watch the San Jose State game, which wasn't a bad game. And uh, this week's Nevada game on your beloved network going south. Um, this is going to be one of those where it's, you know, on the tombstone of uh, the Pacific Conference. I don't even know what to say anymore. Pac-10, Pac, whatever. It didn't have to happen. Anyways, that's not the topic of this uh, short little uh, video. But, uh, you know, watching the game, I've now watched it twice. Um, thank you for the DVR. Sling TV. I rent that out, by the way, for a month because I think all of our uh, PAC network uh, games are going to be uh, the first two. I don't think we have any after that. I hope not. So I just rent it by the month to catch the games that I can't watch. I live up in Northern California, so hard to get down south sometimes. Um, but watching that game, I mean, my goodness. I mean, San Jose State, <laughs> we all knew the quarterback was really good. The defensive line was better than I thought. I thought they were active. They got gassed by the third quarter, uh, clearly gassed. Uh, and I think we made some changes in, at the at the halftime to adjust to some of the things that were going on. But the one thing that that I noticed, and and I'm a Steeler Jets fan in the NFL, but Ben Roethlisberger, what did he always do? He never took his first reads. He surveyed the field and drove his offensive line crazy and he took hits and he got hurt for it, but he held the ball longer than anybody I've ever seen. Johnny Unitas was another one that held the ball for a while, but uh, nothing like big Ben. And I think Caleb is trying to be that pocket passer. I mean, you can see the difference this year, but when he takes off and he runs, he's still one of the best on the move. I mean, his agility and those left-right moves that he can make and get out of harm's way, uh, pretty obvious. But Saturday, I really think when he looks at the film, he's going to remind himself, I got to get better at the count. I can't hold the ball this long. We have more receivers this year than any other year, as far as quality goes, that I've ever seen at every single position. Even our running backs can catch the damn ball. So getting rid of that ball fast, is a good thing. And we should have underneath routes, we should have those corners, those post patterns going to beat the guys long, draw the defensive safeties up, move those corners in. All of those things are possible. But when you hold the ball as long as we do, and I'll tell you what, man, it's tough. You know, watching Miller Moss when he came in, and I know at that point the game was uh, no longer in question, but, you know, do his, do the count. I did. I mean, I was I was actually doing my own head count when uh, both gentlemen were in, and uh, there was a difference. But you know what? <laughs> I'll take Caleb Wills, Caleb Caleb Williams over anybody anywhere any day. He's just a generational talent. You just don't get to see too often. But fix that release. Trust those receivers and receivers. You know, it was game one. Maybe the routes weren't there. You know, you don't get to see all that on TV. And even when you're at the game, depending on when your your focal point is, you may not see the, the developing routes as well. But that was the one thing that I felt uh, we can improve on. And I think Caleb would be the first one to say that, you know, he either has to take off sooner or get rid of the ball. Get rid of the ball. Throw it away. But I don't think this receiving core and the backs that we have uh, need to have a, a throwaway too often. Defensive line. Well, um, impressive, aggressive, an okay offensive line from San Jose State. Not not great, not Big Ten, uh, but a good offensive line. And we pushed, and we got upfield, and we didn't contain. So lessons in the bottle there for our coach, Mr. Grinch. You got to come up with a better strategy for containment. Stop with all the fancy changes. Stick to man. Man cover is good with these kids. These kids are athletic. These corners are tough. 
They're fast. They can cover. Our safeties are ready for the challenge. Linebackers, interior line, edge rushers, you know, you've got to contain. This guy, Codero, was a great test. Great test for the defense, I thought. And uh, look at the score, 56 to 28. Could have been 14. Could have been 63 to 14, quite frankly. There were drops in the first half. There were mistakes, not many. Um, I thought, by and large, game one, I give the the team a B plus. Um, can't be a category because until you get the defense clearly fixed, you're not ready for the Big Ten at the level that the top five, six uh, schools are going to bring every day, every week. But we're getting there. Huge improvements on the defense, I thought. Um, Tackett Curtis, uh, my God, I don't know if I want him in cover. I want him going after the quarterback every play. Honest to God, he when he sees the line and he can make that first cut, I would not want to be the quarterback. Captain America is here, and he is going to be a tear in the backfield if he's allowed to get out of cover. So we got some things to do. I mean, you've got all kinds of athletes on this team. It's exciting. Nevada's up next. Uh, those are my short-term views on the game. I thought the running game actually should have been used more. Uh, but we got four touchdowns for Caleb. Uh, Miller got his touchdown. Uh, good to see that. Uh, Malachi got in the game. I mean, we got a lot of players' visibility. And isn't that what game one's all about? Isn't it more important to see what you got at the expense of, quite frankly, a dominating game? Could we have dominated San Jose State game one? I think so, had we not made so many adjustments and so many changes throughout the balance of the game. But I don't know for sure because that was a hell of a quarterback. You know, you take out Cordero's uh, rushing yardage, and I'm looking up because I'm trying to remember. I think he had 52 yards. You take that away from them, and, you know, it's a different storyline. You know, and maybe he throws a pick or two because he's not running. But if I was the coach for San Jose State for a day, He'd be running a lot. He's good. Good athlete. Anyway, uh, Nevada up next. I think we'll see a lot of changes. Not as tough a team as San Jose State. This was a decent San Jose State team. Um, and, you know, tip of the hat. Glad to see Sparty coming back up here after a, a well-deserved pat on the back because they lost, but they didn't embarrass, and they certainly showed up. Uh, to our Trojans, fight on. Get ready for Nevada. Wolfpack is, uh, has been good in the past. I'm not sensing anybody's picking them as an upset this weekend. Um, there were a few that were chattering about San Jose State upsetting the Trojans, but uh, it never really looked like that after the uh, middle of the second quarter. I thought we had pretty good control. Anyway, have a great week, everybody. Steve Levy, publisher, USC24x7.com. Check out our game day. It's a place for you to be basically competing on how well you can guess the score of USC, their opponent. And now each week we have a Big Ten game starting with week one. So 24 games, 23 left. There is a big pool that's at $500. It costs you nothing to play the game, but you have to guess the scores of both teams. And it's like golf. Closest to each score tallies your points and low score wins so enjoy game day it's up there in the menu you can click on it register for free and have some fun we have uh, 153 me oh, 157 members now uh 35 that are eligible for the full payouts the first top three players uh will get 250 150 and 100 dollars from our sponsor our sponsor basically posts all those ads that you see popping up from now and then uh, so if you see something you like, take a look. <laughs> it pays for our sponsor's uh, year after year commitment. Although, <clears throat> quite frankly, he just loves doing this. So have fun. Uh, he doubled our pool this year, even though we didn't hit 100 players. He said you had 157 registered. Don't know what happened to their score predictions, but uh, we definitely did uh, a whale of a job getting subscribers. So enjoy the season, everybody. Game two coming up. 
fight on Trojans.